Okay, now let's let's talk about putting that reed on the instrument. Okay, so these are the steps you have to do. Now my reed, I already got my reed, my reed wet, so I'm just setting it aside because I got to kind of talk while I do this. But when you put the reed onto the mouthpiece, um, you don't need to put the whole clarinet together first. What we want to do is pull out this piece. This is called the barrel, and set it down. And then you need to pick up your mouthpiece. Okay, I'm going to take this mouthpiece cap off and just put it back in the case. And this piece here is called the ligature. Okay, I'm going to set it to one side also because my cork needs a little cork grease on it, especially in uh, dry climates. Corks will uh, they'll dry out really easily, and then when you try to put your instrument together, they'll tear up, and then you got to take it to the repair shop. So, um, which is a big waste of time because you if you just put cork grease on it. So I've got some cork grease here and I'm going to put just a little bit all the way around it. Okay, I'm going to say I'm just going all the way around. Now you're going to know, you're going to realize that once you learn to play a band instrument your fingers get sticky. They get greasy, you get stuff on them, but that's kind of the normal thing. It's kind of the nature of the instrument, you know. I have a little cleaning rock cloth here or a paper towel nearby to wipe my fingers off. Okay, so there I've got my mouthpiece. Now the barrel goes on the mouthpiece. Now if it just goes on like that you've got the barrel upside down. Okay, It has to be kind of a tight fit. And then just wiggle it back and forth. Okay, Get the cork grease all the way around. Okay, Then the ligature goes on here. Now when you put your ligature on the screws are going to be on the right side of the mouthpiece. See there? See there's a flat part. This There's a flat part of the mouthpiece and a not flat part of the mouthpiece, a round part. So the screws of your ligature need to go on the flat part of the mouthpiece, okay? Because that's where your reed is going to go. And now I'm ready to put my reed on. And you put your ligature on first because if you try to hold the reed in place and put the ligature over the top of it, you can damage your reed and then it won't play. And so the way I do this is I've got got my my uh, my mouthpiece here and I'm going to slide the ligature up a little bit so there's it makes kind of a gap right there and then I'm going to just slide the, the reed underneath it with be, being very careful to never touch the tip of the reed and see I'm kind of holding it where the reed is going to be the reed has to be just a little bit below the below the tip of the mouthpiece tip of the reed should be just a little bit below the tip of the mouthpiece and then I'm going to lower the ligature, okay, lower the ligature until it, it fits. And then I can kind of tighten it up, and there it is, okay. And so if I can see the reed over the top of the mouthpiece, uh, it's up too high. I should be able to see a little bit of mouthpiece above the reed, okay. And so there it is, just kind of a talk through. Your ligature needs to be down below the slant. See our slant right here? The ligature has to go below it, okay, and that's what that's what gives the reed enough room to vibrate and make a sound. So there's a little walkthrough of putting your mouthpiece onto the barrel with the ligature and the reed in place, okay. And then um, after I do that, I very carefully put a mouthpiece my mouthpiece cap over it and set it to one side because now I'm ready to put the rest of the instrument together and I don't really need that until I'm done.